A highly respected research analyst called Trip says that there will actually now be two different Cybertruck sizes and they will be released in March. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to the channel, all you new subscribers. Great to have so many new subscribers on the channel. Welcome back to everyone else. So I did make a video not long ago about 22 new changes that I spotted on the Cybertruck that was seen at Tesla's test track. It is quite different to the original Cybertruck model that was shown back in 2018 when I first placed a pre-order for the Cybertruck. I've got to say, I kind of like the original version better, but the new version, it's not bad. It's just different. And I think different for very good reasons in terms of getting the car to production. Now I'll put a link in the description below to that video I made about the 22 different changes. I believe that is the production version of the original size, but apparently this second model that Tesla are developing or will reveal this year, Trip says it will be revealed in March, is a similar version which will be 15 to 20% smaller. I'd say similar size to the Rivian R1T. So Global Equities Research Analyst Trip Chowdhury recently posted a bold prediction about the Tesla Cybertruck and it's doing the rounds all over the news now. If you haven't already heard this prediction, I'd be surprised because it's um it's quite a claim. Now, according to the analyst, who is among Tesla's most ardent bulls, he expects the company to have two versions of the all-electric truck. One which matches the size of the vehicle's alpha prototypes, the original version, and another one which will be 15 to 20% smaller. Now, apparently this new version will be unveiled at a special Tesla event in March, 2022. I'm absolutely fascinated to know how he's gotten this information because it does sound like it's so specific and detailed that it is going to happen. Now, another thing that he said is that this new vehicle will have significant tweaks to the all electric pickup truck's initial design. Now, I think he's probably referring to the tweaks we've already seen in the original version's design that I've showed in my video, the 22 changes, but maybe he's also referring to this smaller version. Maybe this could be significantly different as well. Maybe more like a traditional pickup truck, man. I don't think so. I'm guessing it's probably more like the current model, just 15 to 20% smaller, sort of just like a scaled down version of the same thing. Now, this part is also very interesting and um, well, I'm not sure if I believe it, but it's interesting because it, he claims, Trip claims that Steel Dynamics, a company that is building a facility only 100 miles away from Gigafactory, Texas, will be the sole supplier for the Cybertruck's steel exoskeleton. Now the steel exoskeleton is one of the things that makes this vehicle so different, so original. Every other pickup truck on the market uses a body on ladder frame chassis. It's just something that's been done in the pickup industry for forever basically so this is what's going to be a real game changer i think for the cybertruck having a completely different exoskeleton i think it's going to bring quite a few advantages and i've talked about that in my original 87 reasons the cybertruck will outsell the ford f-150 lightning video i'll put a link in the description below to that video as well now apparently steel dynamics will make the exoskeleton for both the full-size version and the smaller version of the pickup truck, but I think it's unlikely that as he claims only Steel Dynamics will make the exoskeleton. I believe Tesla is probably just in a position where they need more. They need some help to build enough of these. They've got 1.3 million pre-orders, so they're probably going to outsource this to another company, but also work on building them themselves into the future as well, as in building the exoskeleton themselves as well. Now, the Global Equities Research Analyst as per Tesla Rati, said that he does not expect Tesla to mention the smaller Cybertruck during the upcoming Q4 and full year 2021 earnings report, as the company would likely wait until March when the vehicle is announced and displayed. I think in March, not only will they show this new smaller version of a Cybertruck and the actual official production version, the full size version, I think the third vehicle they're going to show is the Tesla Model 2 or the Model A or whatever Tesla calls it, the 25,000 US dollar or approximately electric hatchback that will be built in China primarily. Now, I think Tesla will also announce a new Gigafactory in China. That's my prediction for Tesla's news in March. We'll see if it happens. It's going to be interesting to see. But if it does, I can see this definitely affecting Tesla's stock price in a very positive way. Now, Chip himself reiterated his overweight rating for Tesla stock 
as well as his optimistic 1500 US dollar per share price target on the company. I think it's possible it could hit 1500 US if these new things are announced in March. The interesting thing is Elon Musk actually entertained the idea of a smaller Cybertruck earlier in the past. Following the Cybertruck's unveiling, a number of Tesla owners expressed their reservations about the vehicle's size, which would likely not fit in many compact American garages. I wouldn't call American garages compact, but yeah, I'm sure there's some compact garages in America. Most Musk then briefly considered the idea of reducing the vehicle's width and height in order to accommodate for these people. But obviously a lot of people said, no, 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 don't do that. So they didn't. And I think very wisely, they're going to make, it's, it looks as though they'll make two different sizes. Makes a lot of sense to me. Now, Tesla's getting criticized by the Tesla haters by saying they're being reactionary. They're just reacting to what Rivian's doing. They're just reacting to what Ford's doing. Well, as far as I can tell, Ford isn't building two different size F-150 electric pickup trucks. Uh, as far as I can tell, General Motors is not doing that for the Silverado. As far as I know, um, Rivian's not doing it either. As far as I know, Tesla has 1.3 million pre-orders. I don't think they need to be reactionary. So I don't think that's the right word here. I think the right word might be to say they're trying to fit the market, what the market wants. They're trying to give the market what it needs. That's calling pivoting. If you own a business and you don't pivot, you go bankrupt. You're an idiot. So pivoting is not something to be critiqued or say it's negative. Pivoting is something to be applauded. I mean, it's listening to your market and giving them what they're after. Now, Musk actually also admitted that producing a smaller Cybertruck would make sense in the long term, especially since the original size of the vehicle might be a bit too big for some areas. Now, if trips predictions are correct, then um, it's going to give him a lot of kudos or maybe burn his sources. I don't know. But it will seem that Tesla is expecting some very serious demand for their all electric full size truck, but also for a truck that is more compact and potentially cheaper. So maybe that's one other reason why they're producing this for some people who want to buy a cheaper truck as well. And potentially it could have even more range if it's a bit smaller. Potentially, we use the same packs, giving it more range. We'll see though, who knows? Now, one other vehicle I would love to see would be a Tesla van. Now, a Tesla van would sell like crazy in Europe. And in fact, it'd sell well in America and Australia and Canada and many other places around the world. But that to me is a vehicle that is extremely important. And I think maybe after revealing the Tesla Model 2 or the Model A, whatever you want to call it, that might be the next pickup. That might be the next vehicle that Tesla actually unveil. But what do you think? What would be your guess? Do you think I'm right on my, what I think Tesla's going to do in March in terms of all those things they're going to unveil? Could they unveil all those or will they maybe drip feed those out over time? That's my prediction, but let me know what your predictions are in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the channel and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.